Ladies and gentlemen, smell the air. May is here, baby. Let's go, finally, bro. The Indy 500 is upon us, and this channel's gonna be focused all in this man, the Indy 500. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And with that, cue the intro. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go through what I think is gonna happen. So right now, we currently, at the time of filming this, April 30th, but it's come out to you May 1st. There's 34 cars entry, and I think that is ultimately what it's gonna be, 34 cars entry. So I need to get into the one bump. Uh, there's only 33 spots, only one car cannot race. Listen, going through the field and everything that lines up, two teams that I think are in trouble, and I hate saying this. I think AJ Foyt is in trouble. I think Able Motorsports, the final entry. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Ray Hall's in trouble. So I don't think Graham, Lungard, or Harvey will get bumped. I think they're all they're, they're all two good drivers. So that puts Catherine Lake the only female entry. And I hate putting her in the situation where I do think Catherine Lake is in deep trouble to being bumped. Uh, Benjamin Peterson. He worries me. He's a rookie. He's not doing so hot. He could very easily get bumped. I put him in the column. Santino Ferrucci, he's on Foyt, but he's a... Sorry, he's an oval master. No problem making the show for Santino. And then Abel Racing, just because they entered so last, and they are a small team, I do think they're in trouble with R.C. Anderson, that is their driver. So I've narrowed it down to Catherine Lake, Benjamin Peterson, and R.C. Anderson. And the more and more it goes on, I think Peterson will make it just because he's a full-time driver and he has the experience. So then I think it comes down to leg and fortunately RC Anderson. And I do think that the person being bumped is going to be RC Anderson and the able racing camp. I do think leg will start 33rd and I do think it will be close between those two, but unfortunately it was a last minute entry and I do not see it making the field as much as I like to RC's going to two tries, two bumps. With this Top Gun entry back in 2021. I do hate to say it. It does suck. But unfortunately, I think RC will be getting bumped. But, oh well. What what can you do? Now let's move on to my Dark Horses of the race. Now, I do think that the Dark Horses of the race are Meyer Shank. They haven't had a strong year. You know, even though they have a lineup of Castor Nevis and Pagino, it's still hard to, like, call them a dark horse but it's because of the bad year they've had i am going to call them a dark horse do i think either one of them will win i don't know but i do think they are a huge dark horse now let's get on to my 10 drivers that i think will be a contender for the race i'm gonna start off with my one and two this is in no particular order but the bus bros scott mclaughlin joseph newgarden you cannot have a 10 way list of potential winners and not have them on this list they're just too good they're in their prime right now it's hard to look past them then we're gonna head to the mclaren camp i'm picking Pato award and my boy alexander rossi i know it's an andretti shirt his old team but still you can still not look past those two rossi's dangerous at the speedway award is on fire this year both of them are looking to be very strong contenders for this year's indianapolis 500 that's four we're going to do three from Ganassi, Erickson, defending winner, Dixon, 2008 winner, and Alex Pillow, 2021 IndyCar champion. He gave me this hat also. So that's four. Boom, we're already up to seven, just like that. And we got to go to Andretti, Grosjean, and Kirkwood. You might be thinking of Herta. I do not think Herta will be. I think he'll be up there, but I'm not picking him as one of my 10 locked-in favorites. I just don't feel it. And you cannot have a 10 locked in favor without four-time champion, Elio Castroneves. So he is my 10th and final. So those are my 10 main factors of the race. It's just what I think. Um, and who knows what will happen? You, you never know. Anything can happen. Let's go into some predictions I have. I have it being a four-caution race. I think there will be four wrecks. I don't know. I think there will be two in the beginning, two in the end. Actually, no, make that five. There'll be two in the beginning, one in the middle, and two in the end. So yeah, I'm going with a five-caution race. I'm going to go with 
12 different drivers lead the race. And I'm going to hate to say it, but I think Ed Carpenter racing will be slow. And uh, yeah, that, those are my main big and bold predictions. And yes, there we go. History will is, is upon us. See you guys, and let's get on with May. It's really the best time of the year, and I'll be focusing a lot on this on this channel. And without that, see ya.